Hello guys and welcome back in this cool video in this fine cool morning yes I know it's still morning but this video will be uploaded later so it may be an evening or a morning to you it's okay so this is a cool requested video by this cool fan his name is Miguel or Mig Miguel R Ribeiro yes sorry about the wrong pronunciation okay he wants a max performance V6 1.7 liter turbo at first, he wanted a, a, a V6 turbo from an F1, from the F1 uh, version, or from the F1 cars. Unfortunately, in this game, <coughs> you could not make any kind of a real racing engine. <coughs> I've tried to make NASCAR engines before, and I failed because this engine does not support the correct octane and valve uh, train systems and everything for the real NASCAR engine, so it did not work out well. And the same thing for the F1 engines you cannot just make I, I got all the correct specs for it uh, the last time that I made it and I've tried it and it did make even half the horsepower of the real thing and half you know the weight and the economy so it will not work, work out well that's why I told Mr. Miguel that I'm gonna make only a max performance one he told me to make a max performance instead of the F1 and I'm gonna make it so it's fairly simple. Using making a V6 is fairly simple. Some people prefer it 60 degrees because it's more compact and you can stick it in absolutely any car. Because you can, if, if there is a, if it's, if it's a small one like this one that I'm gonna make, you can stick it in every car. Or you can make, you can have a, an old classic American V6. Yes, I know there are. You you, you, you can see. Uh, in a lot of uh, YouTube videos on motor trend on demand or these kind of stuff you can see that some some of them found a, a classic Chevy's classic Chevy V6's yes from the 70s and 80s and you can see the difference in it all right so as you can see, you can prefer it as a 90 degrees or a 60 degrees. In every car on earth these days, it's only a 60 degrees. And the classic 70s and 80s, especially the American versions of it, used to, used to make it as a 90 degrees. But because the Americans invented, and not, I'm not sure that they invented it, but yes, they perfected the V8 as a 90 degrees V8. So they made everything as a 90 degrees, as a V10, V8, V6, everything they made by 90 degrees and the Europeans they love the 60 degrees 6, six cylinders 8 cylinders 12 cylinders so yes you can see that this is Europe and this is America and maybe this is Japan alright so let's I'm not sure actually but I'm gonna use a 60 degrees because this is more you know obvious this is what all the all the cars even the American cars with V6s they use with 60 degrees these days because it's more compact it's it's much cooler and much compact as I said that's why they make it okay enough chit chat uh, it wants maximum performance so magnesium I want a 1.7 alright so drop the stroke and increase the bore to be hit 1.7 and the reason that I made it the might that I made the stroke less and the bore more is to make as much as high rpm as possible because making it the other way around, it will make it a lo more low RPM, just yes, less RPM, and uh, more torque. But this is a max performance, so we need rev, of course. So this is it, 1.7 liter engine, 78.4 to this to the bore, 58.8 millimeter to the stroke. Dual overhead camshaft, five valves per cylinder, aluminum silicon, basically everything to the max. Titanium, lightweight forged, plus 15 quality, and as you can see, the compression. The compression is what she what, Remember, if you want to make a turbocharged engine, don't push the compression too high. If it's naturally aspirated and you will use direct injection, very direct fuel injection, yes, you could smash the compression high. So I always prefer it on 10.1 to 1 on direct injection and turbocharged engines. Variable valve timing, racing camshaft, the biggest one and the highest one in the profile. 
<sighs> plus 215 quality here turbocharged ball bearing they using the why I'm using ball bearing all because ball bearing is just better than journal the ball the balls inside the, the bearings and the turbo the, the spinning on the middle it will make the turbo spin on on less on low rpms it will make the turbo you know spin as I said spin on low rpm but I'm not sure how can I say it make it make it like a lighter it make it makes the turbine lighter it doesn't require much air to move it that's why ball bearings are better than journal air to air large and let's say performance and I'm gonna tweak it later plus 15 injection direct injection throttle per cylinder performance 100 octane fuel 17.0 the air fuel ratio the ignition time let's drop it Hoping for 9000 plus 15 here do I for three way none none plus 15 so the engine is absolutely dead it's 214 horsepower hmm. I can use low octane fuel and it, it can work because I'm using only 79 low quality it can work listen All right, let's move on to 100 octane fuel, and let's start playing with the turbo. <coughs> As you can see, turbine size isn't really efficient on the compressor also, so the engine can rev higher, 11,000 RPM. Okay. Mm, let's see. On max boost twenty psi. Okay, and ignition timing. <coughs> That's, I know, I know, it's knocking, I know. 10 points. I know that the power band is getting worse by the minute. But he wants, <coughs> he wants max performance, so we have to give him max performance, right? Let's see. 10.7 to 1 compression ratio. <clears throat> so basically, you can make only like 530, 550 max. Or more, you can push out more if you want. As you can see, it will get less efficient. As you can see, I can increase the, co the compressor size, but look at the power band. Just weak, 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 and then the turbos will kick in. That's why it's not really efficient. And as you can see, the power only stops at 9,500, so I'm going to use 10,000 RPM. And as you can see, these are no use for, no, these are use, useless to use the, these high-end high components. So let's use... As you can see, cast iron crank will work perfectly. Oh my god, cast connecting rods. And as you can see, yes, they will knock because they hasn't been designed to run on this much. So forged. Yes, forged, okay. I want to use cast. I can use cast now if I want. Look at it. I'm using cast <coughs> cast components. I know that these are the best cast because plus 15 quality. Wow.
and they can take all the punishment as you can see no errors whatsoever <coughs> so 300 horsepower 600 horsepower there then I want to make turbo you know to perform well and I'm not sure how I want to make the compressor and the turbine sizes very very similar to each other so the power band can act can look better than before six hundred and one horsepower okay no six two six four <clears throat> so 607 horsepower Wow 607 horsepower using 27 and a half PSI Each time I make a turbocharged engine and I start tweaking it, the game will get so laggy. Look at these twin, twin turbos. absolute beast wow I'm really impressed with this kind with this beast 1.7 liter guys come on 1.7 liters and it can give 607 horsepower <laughs> imagine this small v6 in a Nissan Skyline or Nissan GTR I mean the, the Nissan GTR the R35 is using also a, a, a v6 a twin turbo v6 and only makes like 550 600 max at stock stock tune and this one is, is 1.7 liters. Um, I think the the Nissan is 3.8, 3.5, 3.8. I I remember, yeah. 3.6. Oh my God, I forgot. Okay, so it's it, this one is half the size. And look at the power, nearly the same. But this one, unfortunately, the difference between this one and the Nissan R35 one. This one, look at the material cost. And look at the production unit and the production time or the engineering time. It will take so much time to be produced. And this one needs to run on 100 octane fuel. And the power band on this one is um, crappy. It's not really impressive. But look at the power 607. So, yes, we can make power. It's still reliable, but it will take so much time to make. And this is not a production engine, this is like a prototype. So I really hope you, you enjoy it guys, it's been a, a quick cool video from Mr. Miguel Ribeiro, Rib yes, thank you so much Mr. Miguel, this is your 1.7 V6, I'm gonna call it on your name, so Miguel Rib, yeah, alright, where is it, Ribeiro, okay. 1.7 million turbo V6 max. Okay, so this is your engine, Mr. Miguel, and the variant is fully on. So again, thank you so much for this for your request. If you guys remember, if you like this video, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. As always, I want you to smash it hard. Don't just watch it and run away. Smash it, and it will be really, really cool with me and of course if you are new to the channel if you if you like my videos uh, just smash that subscribe button become a member of the family and a member of the channel of course because I consider you guys as my friends and my family in, in my channel 300 plus subscribers cool 
yes it's been a cool morning it's been a fine morning and with you guys watching my videos I will be really happy to see more likes okay and of course not and of course notification squad come on guys push that notification bell button so you can get a notification each time I release a new video again thank you so much Mr. McGill and thank you so much guys for watching if you like the video go again smash that like button and I will see you in another request very very soon and bye bye